<sighs> Hello again, I'm Matthew, and today I'm going to be talking about Philip Marsh and the power of street art. Viewing art on a regular basis is obviously considered a bit of a, a hobby in most places in the world. No matter how profound, powerful, or memorable it might be, it is still confined only to that space and seen by people who can't afford it. Uh, but Philip Marsh is somebody who believes that the best art should never be a victim of gatekeeping. Philip Marsh is a designer and artist from Jamestown, New Jersey, and is the founder of Rocker's Print Shop here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Over the past year, Marsh has been an advocate for street artists and the medium by arranging public spaces for them for their art in order to flourish and be appreciated by the general public. He became especially recognized through his One Love mural, which was completed on Juneteenth of this year. Uh, through this mural, among his many other, uh, many other murals, Marsh shows how important street art can be as a tool for change and hope in, in showcasing its ability, use as political commentary, and benefits for the city socially and emotionally. As art goes, street art is probably one of the most unique genres of art that has existed in the past century or so. What started as a way for young black artists to make a name for themselves in New York and Philadelphia became a phenomenon that spread across the whole world and in modern culture in general. One of those reasons is how accessible it is to pretty much everybody who sees it. In an interview with WFMY News, Marsh explains how this group of people use it despite the oppression during the time. Quote, Marginalized artists who could not get their artwork up in the, into galleries were forced to paint that way, and now they are the hottest ticket in the art world, and so now they're getting more opportunities." End quote. By primarily working with street art, he can produce a relationship with audiences that is pretty much hard to form otherwise. Uh, this is art that people can see on pretty much a daily best basis, whether they are walking to the store or just driving out on the town. And with each viewing, the pathos between the work and the audience only builds. With the One Love mural specifically, the mural's bright yellow color sort of contrasts the gray road just like a regular yellow line, making it appear that it was sort of meant to be there. I mean, what could be more accessible than road after all? Street art has a long history of being used as political commentary on the issues that affect the people making it. During the 1980s, artists like Keith Haring used street art to advocate for safe sex during the AIDS epidemic in New York. And in today's world, artists like Banksy use it to uh, comment on comment on the policies of their country and how it marginalized immigrants and or homeless people. Philip Marsh's work is no different, as he uses uh, his art to basically com comment and criticize uh, police force and the cr American criminal justice system following the death of George Floyd earlier this year. He states how art is a great purveyor in change in that same interview. He states earlier that, quote, we just advocate not only as a black creative, but a creative period that the city understands and starts the overdue dialogue of the place that art has in the community." End quote. When faced with, with adversity as great as this, art can sort of bridge the gap between emotional response and social change. Marsh's mural One Love takes its form by the Bob Marley song of the same name. This song advocates for unity and love in the midst of uh, discrimination and pain, and which is effectively the same meshes that the mural pushes for. Its presence stands as a reminder for Greensboro to push for equality no matter what the circumstances are. Of course, this kind of art serves as more than just a mural after all. Street art serves as rejuvenations for cities that have taken toll due to uh, negativity. After the initial protests in Greensboro turned violent, Marsh used Streetway as a way to fill the spaces in left after the destruction. He organized artists to paint on the boarded up restaurants to turn them into vibrant and beautiful pieces that uh, remind the city to stay strong and fight against inequality. He also states that because of the new art that has allowed for tourism to come back in that way, other cities have They've inspired other cities to do the exact same. By encouraging people to explore places that are revitalized by this new art, he helps to widen their perspective within the people living there and what they have to offer to the community. Marsh's work helps Greensboro by being free, being impactful, and being restorative. This art form continues to stay relevant despite its very stigmatized history nowadays which only shows how important that it can be to modern culture. Marsh's current plan is to paint 100 murals in the next 1,000 days, and my hope is that each one makes a difference in the lives of the people at Greensboro. Thank you so much, and have a good day.